got a few comments to make here before we start on this motor. Uh, I've got some theories uh, that I would like to express. If everybody that's working on anything, I don't care uh, what type of uh, improvement, what kind of energy improvement, as long as it cleans up the environment. And everybody's going to have to get into the act, and uh, we'll get the job done. And it don't make any difference who, who does the job, as long as it gets done. And uh, a lot of things have been held up by government. A lot of it's something that a lot of people don't know. I I spent a, a considerable amount of time building eclinators. I invent John Eklund was a brilliant man. He was a theorist. He never built the motor. We found that we could bounce magnetic fields off of magnetic fields, and they would expand and contract this way at the same time. The, uh, this is an eclinator here, uh, one that uh, we had running under its own power. And by the rules of engagement, so to speak, uh, if you could drop the windage and you drop the bearing drag and everything, it was over efficient. After we quit trying to do it Eklund's way, I uh, took all this investment and we looked at it and uh, done some experiments with resonance and took that same amount of iron, same rotor, and we was able to put it into resonance and damn near killed me because it put out 30,000 volts at three amps coming out of that little generator. 